Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yo. How's everybody doing? Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good, good evening, evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome good to our day number two. Welcome. All right, thanks. Good evening. Day number two, everybody. How is everybody doing today? How was your day? Little wet day, right? Little wet, so wet yeah. Day. It was, it was a little wet. Over here, all day was kind of raining. It's yeah, same thing, same thing where I live. Right. It was, it was pretty bad. Thank you guys, right. thank you guys for coming. Good evening, good evening to everybody. Welcome to day number two. Thank you for coming back. Como les fue con el o la plataforma? How did you guys do with the website? How are you guys doing? Very good. Hi. I just started uh, section two. Okay. All right. <laughs> <coughs> all right. Good for you. Good for you. All right. Remember, the platform is the number one rule. Traten de hacer todo lo posible por mantenerse en la plataforma. A ver, vamos a darle aquí el share. Let me show you guys how I'm doing. Actually, I don't think I'm doing too well. Let me see what I did. Oh my goodness, I didn't. Okay, I was watching some of the videos, but I guess I didn't finish them. Huh? Okay. Inglés Intermedio Modulo 2. So, English Intermediate Module Number 2. And somebody was already in section number two. Well done, sir. Well done. If you guys have not started section one yet, don't worry about it. Remember, we have the class. We cover some of this stuff. However, I am going to ask you to go into the platform and try to get the lessons completed. Because this is the only way that you're going to get the certification and your, you know, your, your I, I wanna say your pass to the third module in this particular case. El yes. día de ayer comenzamos hablando con los lesson objectives. El día de hoy me gustaría compartir un poco más acerca de la navegación de la sección o de los módulos rapidín. En caso de que tengamos algún compañero que tal vez no lo ha podido navegar o que le está costando un poco, una, una, una quick explanation y luego nos vamos a regresar a lo que estábamos cubriendo. So, um, from yesterday, section number one started off with the lesson objective. The only thing you have to do is click on it and you're gonna get a quick description of what that is. El objetivo, sometimes you find it in English and Spanish, and sometimes you only find it in English. It just depends on what lesson you're doing. So this one particular talks about listening and practicing a conversation between family members. And then, so from here, all you have to do, lo único que tienes que hacer es darle next. Comienza el video. Antes tenía el pelo largo yo, así que por favor, don't judge me. <laughs> and in the video, you do play, you listen to it completely. And once you do that, 
you're going to get a little check mark. Cuando tú ya hayas completado el video and you have the check mark, you can go to the part that says discussion. If you guys have seen the videos, they always tell you, we recommend. My recommendation is for you guys to go into this discussion session and fill it out. However, ojo, ojo, no es obligación. It's not an obligation. It's not obligatory. Okay? You don't get less points if you don't go here. So don't worry about your points. What's important is the lesson and the videos. Once you do that, you click on next again, and it takes you to the next lesson. You can also follow it at the very top. You're gonna have green mark, green check mark, and then lesson objective with no green check mark. That means that you haven't done it yet. And all you have to do is click next from here, and it takes you to the next video. Okay? Yes. Once you have completed the videos, you guys are gonna come to a portion that says the knowledge check. Yes. Y lo que estamos haciendo aquí es una revisión. ¿Qué fue lo que vimos? Y queremos ver si se te quedó algo. How well? The idea is for you guys to try to get as much as possible, right? In this case, it talks about what is it that we're doing, and it gives you the instructions. Look at the following picture, complete the request in these words. En español, observe las siguientes imágenes, luego complete las peticiones con las palabras de las imágenes. Fácil, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> it's always that easy, right? <laughs> number one. I understand number one. All right. Pick up. One. ¿Quién ya hizo el knowledge check? De acá. I did. The toys. Right. All right. Y aquí, ¿qué le ponemos? Pick up. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Y lo escribí todo pequeño, ¿verdad? Ahora, le voy a dar submit solo para que vean. Okay, all in small, all in caps. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Te lo va a aceptar. However, there's some, there's some cases where if there's an extra space, if you put a comma or if you put a dot, sometimes it will give you a wrong answer even though it is correct. So all you have to do is, si tú en tu corazón sabes que lo estás poniendo bien, revisa, ¿qué me puede estar fallando? Maybe it's the comma, maybe it's the dot, maybe it's the spaces. Oh my goodness, I have another space here. Check the spaces, check the dots, check the commas, and then click submit, and wham! We have it, and it's mm -hmm. back to normal. So now we say it. Pick up the toys, please. And you guys should be doing the same cuando ustedes lo hagan. Cualquier cosa que ustedes pongan, ustedes leanlo en voz alta si pueden. Pick up the toys, please. ¿Cómo se escucha? Is it okay? Does it sound good? Does it have rhythm? Does it have flow? If the answer is yes, dejalo, continue filling it up, y luego le das submit. Cuando tú ya hayas completado, le das next, y te lleva al next lesson. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? So far, so good, right? So far, yes. simple. All right. So now, para los compañeros que tal vez no saben, en la barra de navegación hay una palabra que dice progress. Esa palabra que dice progress, tú la puedes presionar y te va a decir cómo tú vas en términos de percentage. La idea es que terminen en 100 cada una de las lecciones, cada una de las secciones. Luego el midterm, luego el final exam 
y luego te da un toro. ¿Cómo lo hacemos para salir de acá y regresar? Bueno, siempre en el Navigation Pane le vas a dar Courses o Course y te lleva de regreso. ¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Todo bien? Everybody good? Yes. All right, all right. So that's pretty much it from this point. What we're going to do every day is we're going to go into the section. Y yo les voy a hacer preguntas acerca de las lecciones si ustedes necesitan un poco de ayuda. If you guys, se, si se han topado en un knowledge check a la cual todavía no han terminado, también we can go over it real quick. Eh, no se llama cheating, se llama teamwork. Así es que ojo con eso, va. Nosotros somos teamwork 100%. Ojo con eso. All right. Sección número uno, ¿qué fue lo que nosotros estábamos eh, cubriendo? What do you guys remember from yesterday? The phrasal verb. Okay, the phrasal verbs, right? Yes. Now, here they say two part verbs. But if you Google it or if you look for it, it's very rare that you get a hit for two part verbs. Because automatically, a two-part verb is, is known as a phrasal verb. And so what, what's going to happen is, I don't, wanna, I don't want you guys to get confused. It's the same thing. Two-part verbs and phrasal verbs are the exact same thing. Everybody good with that? Yes, sir. Okay, excelente. So yesterday, and I'm already sharing, right? Yeah, I'm already sharing. This is what we went over. A phrasal verb. También se conoce como idioms. Or you can, it's a form of an idiom. Have you guys ever heard of an idiom or the word idioms? Yes. All right. So it, it's, it, some people know them as, as idioms as well. But in the majority of the cases, phrasal verbs. Okay. And so we started with this, which was the example and it told us what it was. Some real life examples from artists, transitive and intransitive. Little bit of worksheets, but I think we're gonna leave the worksheets for the end. And we were starting to do pronunciation. Do you guys remember that? Okay. Right. Pro... Let me fix that, sorry. Okay. The English language needs two things, pronunciation and enunciation. So one thing is to take the word and pronounce the word correctly. That means that you will stress the correct portion of that word. Enunciation is the letters. And the sounds those letters make. El famoso edge que nosotros Ustedes van a escuchar bastante eso. Es un sonido DZ, le dicen. Okay? okay? In order for you to have fluency, conversation, or in other words, native speaking English, these two have to hit at least 80 to 90% in your phrases and in your sentences. So, mm -hmm. pronunciation has to do with word stress. Enunciation or enunciation has to do with the sound that the letters make. Everybody okay with that? Yes. Okay. What we are going to practice today is pronunciation. 
And in this particular case, we are going to use phrasal verbs. So some of the rules. When the phrasal verb is de describing an action, the stress will be on the particle. Or in other words, the second word. Por favor, acuérdense. Una phrasal verb is a two-word compound. Hay dos. Pueden haber tres, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a practicar con la de dos. Two words. So I want you to think of it that way. Every time we hear a phrasal verb, two. Two verbs. If we are describing an action, we're going to put emphasis on the second word. And we're going to make it a little bit louder, a little bit stronger. All right. Okay. It has to be louder. It has to be, a, it has to have a little bit of a higher pitch. Okay. Now, the particle will be the most obvious word. So I want you to think of that as well. When you guys look at a phrasal verb and you guys have to think, oh my God, which one is the particle? Look at the words. The one that is the most obvious, that one is the particle. Okay? Everybody good so far? Todo bien hasta acá? Uh, uh, excuse me. Obvious yeah. with, with the sound, with the stress, when, when somebody's, when, if we are in a conversation. Right, right. So let's say, for example, you are talking about your shoes, right? Which one is the right. most obvious word? The shoes. So I want you to think of it like that, right? So if you're having a conversation, if you have a sentence, if you have a phrase, and in this particular case, if you're using a phrasal verb, what is it that you're talking about? Because that is going to be the particle. That's going to be like the flashing point of what you're saying. And so if it's an action, we're going to focus on the second verb. If somebody tell you, take off your shoes. There we go. Yes, sir. You got it. That's it. Take off. There we go. You got it. But now it's an action, mm -hmm. right? So take off. Yeah. Y, y la fuerza. Tienes que tirarle la fuerza. Ya vamos a practicar. All, right. ya, ya vamos, ya vamos. All right. Good, good. Well done. Well done. Okay. So now the other portion, right? When the phrasal verb is a noun or it's an adjective form, the stress will be on the first word. Noun or adjective, first word. Estamos bien hasta acá? Yes. Okay. So the trick here is when you are pronouncing phrasal verbs and you want to sound like a native English speaker, you have to stress the right word. Okay? So, mm -hmm. this is the way it looks. This is to give you an idea. What are some particles? What are some nouns? And what are some verbs? Okay? Um, Paul, si, 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 si. Una pregunta, entonces, es como sonar un poco dramático cuando estás hablando. Fíjese que de eso se trata. El idioma inglés se trata de escucharte dramático cuando estés hablando. Entonces, no sé si ustedes han fijado que las personas que hablan inglés, por ejemplo, en televisión, en, las, eh, en una canción, if they're singing, if they're, if, if, if they're providing some sort of speech. Bueno, let's, let's use the speech, ¿verdad? Yo estoy hablando en frente de un montón de personas. Si yo me pongo y hablo more intonation, patterns, phrase of verbs, of stress, and phrase of verbs, a particle with a strong stress. ¿Qué va a pasar con mi audience? What, what is my audience going to do? Lo va a dormir. Yeah, they, everybody goes to sleep. Everybody gets up and they want to stand up. They want to go drink coffee. They want to drink water. They, they're, they're terribly bored. However, when you go to somebody presenting a speech, they have a lot of feelings. 
right? They'll they'll do like their hands and they'll scream and they'll make facial faces. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll it, it 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 becomes very dramatic. So the answer to your question is yes. Esto que estamos hablando es el drama, Bien. la música, el rhythm, uh, and I want you to know that it's beautiful once you guys get used to it, and it becomes very right. very easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so some of these words, si ustedes pueden ver, fall apart. You see that one? Son dos palabras, yes, however, se convierten en una. And, it, and, and I want you guys to take this into consideration porque mm -hmm. there is another portion that gets incorporated with word stress. Y se llama linking. And usually... Mm -hmm. Linking and stress go hand in hand, van a la par. Si ustedes pueden observar aquí, miren, fall apart. Pero no se dicen dos palabras completas, sino que se lee como una, fall apart. Fall apart. Right. Y se comienza con voz baja, fall, a, y ahora se pega un brinco, fall apart. Y ahí está. El, y ese es el estrés. Entonces, ¿a dónde estamos poniendo el estrés nosotros? En la segunda porción, que sería part. Fall mm -hmm. a part. Y subimos el volumen. Fall apart. Break down. Y subimos el volumen. Break down. Break in. Break through. Go on. Move over, give up, get away. Verbs, second word, nouns, first word, particles, second. Okay, verbs, mm -hmm. la segunda porción, nouns, la primer porción, y particles, la segunda. And oh my God, si no tenés cuidado con esto, se puede crear un poco de confusión. Porque tenés que saber qué significa. So here we go. This is our practice. Esta es nuestra práctica. Okay. Vamos a ocupar la palabra turn off. En otras palabras, I want to say, this is what I want to say. Turn off the light before you leave. Super fácil, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. How many of you guys have used that one? Turn off the light before you leave. I'll use it. Okay, all right. So what's the pattern that we want to do? This example has to do with the particle. Turn off. Off. Voz baja. El estrés. Y ahora vuelve a bajar, vuelve a subir, baja, se mantiene y sube. ¿Cómo se escucha eso? Bueno, se escucha como que si es música. Ah, music to my ears. Turn off the light before you leave. Teacher, y así me voy a escuchar yo, así nos escuchamos. Nosotros le ponemos un poco más de énfasis a, a, a las palabras, o se escucha el cantadito, porque nosotros decimos, no, pues en, es que en español no es así. And that's correct. Spanish no anda con estas cosas. El español tiene suficientes palabras, dice, como para poder incorporar cualquiera. No necesita subirle volumen o bajarle volumen a algo. Si vos le vas a decir al chucho algo, es el chucho y ya estuvo. En cambio, en inglés no. Hay muchas maneras de decir algo. Right? Let me show you. Ya que estamos hablando de pronunciation and stress. Right? So, pronunciation, enunciation. ¿Qué tiene que ver, teacher? Eso, uff, eso nadie lo ocupa. Mm -mm, claro, todo mundo lo ocupa. Vamos a hacer algo súper fácil. La palabra. Right? Súper fácil. Y la voy a poner, sí, así. 
Ok. En esta primera, la I. Es en capital. O vamos a poner el estrés en la I. Y luego le vamos a bajar volumen a todo lo demás. ¿Y qué significa eso para mí? ¿O qué es lo que estoy escuchando yo? Bueno, a ver, escuchen. I love you. I love you. Ok. La siguiente. I love you. I love you. I love you. Y la última. I love you. I love you. A ver. A ver. ¿Quién me ayuda? Tienen. Son las mismas palabras. ¿Significan lo mismo? Do they mean the same thing? ¿Y cuál es el enfoque? Meaning. What's the meaning? Right? So let's, let's do that. In the first one, the meaning is me. Yo. Yo te amo. Right? And the most yeah. important person in that specific sentence is I. Y si tú le pones atención, es la persona. Pero no significa que me amas. No significa que me amas mucho. Te estás enfocando en ti. La siguiente. I love you. Ah, aquí cambia un poco, ¿verdad? Porque aquí, the meaning of it is the love. Yo te amo a ti. Y el enfoque es love. Y en la última, la tercera. ¿A quién quiero? ¿A quién amo? You. Ahora, las tres están completamente igual. Se escriben de la misma manera, pero a la hora de pronunciarlo, depende a donde tú le pongas el énfasis, cambia el significado. De la misma manera con nuestros ejercicios. Right? There's a reason for that music. There's a reason for the rhythm. There's a reason why when they ask for fluency, they want you to have these ups and downs. It is very good if you have a conversation and you have a lot of ups and downs. So, turn right. off the light before you leave. Bajamos, subimos, volvemos a bajar y así vamos. ¿Verdad? It's like a little wave. And that's why they call it the music, the rhythm. So, ¿qué es lo que nosotros hacemos? Bueno, si tú no tienes cuidado con el estrés se puede escuchar como que estás diciendo otra palabra. Miren, vamos a ocupar este ejemplo de aquí abajo. Se deletrea exactamente igual. Turn off. Pero el enfoque está en turn. Ahora, miren lo que estamos diciendo. His behavior is such... A turn off. ¿Qué estamos tratando de decir? ¿Pueden escuchar ustedes la diferencia entre turn off y turn off? Yes. It sounds different. It's different and it means something completely different. Turn off es apagar la luz. However, a turn off es algo que se ocupa en una relación, por ejemplo. Tú vas, 
por primera vez a ver a una chica o un chico y están comiendo, no son pupusas, y agarra la comida con la mano, which is not bad still, ¿verdad? Hay, hay ciertas culturas que se permiten, you can do it, yeah. y se comienza a chupar todos los dedos, todititos. I do it at home in private, pero en, re, en pollo campero, uy, ni los, ni los huesos toco. ¿Ah? So imagine you go out on a date and the person that you are seeing se chupa todos los dedos. What's going to happen? It's such a turn off, se dice. Oh my God, he started sucking on his fingers, all of his fingers. He licked them all. Such a turn off. ¿De qué estamos hablando? De un mal comportamiento. De un mal comportamiento, correcto. And that's why it talks about behavior here. You see? Es un comportamiento. Entonces, es muy diferente decir turn off que venir a decir turn off. Porque el volumen está acá. A ver, una vez más. Bajo, alto, bajo, alto, bajo, mantenemos y luego alto. A ver, vamos. <coughs> <coughs> Perdón. Turn off the light before you leave. Turn off the light before you leave. Sí. Turn off the light before you leave. Y suban el volumen. A ver, háganlo ustedes ahí sin el, no tienen que encender su micrófono, solo háganlo ustedes una o dos veces. A ver, vamos. Turn off the light before you leave. Turn off the light before you leave. Turn off the light before you leave. Y le podés ir subiendo el volumen tú. Si querés más intensidad, lo podés hacer. ¿Qué es lo más importante? Que lo apague. ¿Qué necesita apagar? La luz. ¿Cuándo lo va a hacer? Antes de que se vaya. Turn off. The light before you leave. Drama, intensidad. Teacher, y, y en una conversación, ¿qué tanto tengo que hacer esto? 100%. Tu conversación tiene que llevar todo esto 100% del tiempo. No puede bajar. Ahora, si la conversación es, es bien poquita y es bien leve, entonces no, no te preocupes. Pero si es una conversación que requiere mucho, entonces sí lo vas a tener que hacer bastante. ¿Ok? Ok. Esa es para turn off. Tengo otra. Take out. Ah, esta, ah, teacher, esa ya la he escuchado yo bastante. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Y qué significa? ¿Qué significa to take out? ¿Cuál sería la translation? ¿Cuál sería la interpretation? What is the meaning? También podemos hacer. Si yo te pido to take out, ¿qué te estoy pidiendo? Delete. Ok, you can say, you can use delete. ¿Qué más? Take out the trash. ¿Qué te estoy pidiendo que hagas? Remove something. Remove something. Sacar algo. ¿Cómo es? Sacar algo para afuera. <laughs> ok. <coughs> so now, here in this particular phrasal verb, we're describing an action, okay? There's two ways. The first one, I went to the library to take out some books. I went to the library to take out some books. What did I go do to the library? I went to take out some books, right? Okay. There's another way. El famoso take out en la comida. Let's get take out for dinner tonight. 
Let's get takeout for dinner tonight. Y aquí está la misma palabra, pero el significado cambia un poco. Tenemos el verb y tenemos la noun o el noun. Let's get takeout. Eso no significa que yo voy a sacar la comida. Let's get takeout. Cuando ustedes escuchan la palabra take out, let's get take out for dinner. ¿De qué estamos hablando? Tomar. De comer fast food. McDonald's, Subway. Well, Subway is not really fast food. It's, uh, you know, we can use McDonald's. Uh, we can use Burger King. We can use Wendy's. Uh, what else would be categorized as takeout? Para llevar. That's Are pretty much Pizza Hut. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, let's get let's get takeout for dinner. Entonces las dos palabras. La primera, take out, take out the trash, take out the dog. ¿verdad? Y la segunda mm -hmm. es take out. Se escriben igual, pero se pronuncian diferente. Ahora. Take out. Y se baja volumen. Okay. So let's try both of them. Please repeat after me. Y déjenlo ustedes en mute. No, 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 no se tienen que, no se pueden, bueno, no se tienen que quitar el mute. Solo practiquen conmigo. I went to the library to take out some books. I went to the library to take out some books. What did you go do? Or what did you do today? Y tú contestas, well, I went to the library to take out some books. Nice, okay. Ahora la siguiente. Let's get takeout for dinner tonight. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. Let's get takeout for dinner tonight. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's get takeout for dinner tonight. Let's get take out. Get and take son loud. Llevan mucho volumen. Get, take y luego baja. Out. Let's get take out for dinner tonight tonight a ver qué tal cómo vamos so far everybody okay yeah. everybody good all right yeah. okay i there's another one well we actually we have a couple more let's use breakup antes de ir a nuestras prácticas Ocupando las life worksheets. Break up. I'm going to break up with my girlfriend. ¿Qué significa eso? I'm going to break up with my girlfriend tonight. You need to separate with. Oh, okay. Separate from her. All right. All right. We can do that one. Okay. How about if we say it, instead of saying it in two words, break up, we just say break up. And we say it really fast. So, this is what you guys can hear. Por ejemplo, cuando es un chambre, va. I heard, con el volumen, I heard, they broke up last month. Y ahí se incluye el breakup. I heard, they broke up last month. I heard, they broke up up last month. I heard they broke up last month. Entonces, neutral, sube el volumen, baja y luego sube y se mantiene. I heard they broke up last month. Y va el chambre, la urgencia. Okay. Now, how about we said, how about we say it like this? 
he's been sad since his breakup last year. He's sad since he's, well, I'm sorry, he's been sad since his break up last year. Break up. ¿De qué estamos hablando cuando decimos las dos palabras break up o broke up? Y cuando usamos la palabra break up, rapidito. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Cuando lo ocupamos. So let's say, yeah, yeah, Alex. In the past, you got it. That's it. That's it. So here, you, if you're talking about the past, you're not going to say his break up in two separate words. You're not going to say it like that. Sino que you're going to say it as one. You're going to say, well, you know, uh, his breakup, his breakup last year. And it's one word altogether. So breakup y breakup. Breakup y las palabras en sí. Broke up or break up. That one, that one I like because it's, you know, it has to do with girlfriends and boyfriends and stuff like that. <clears throat> do you guys remember the word hang out? ¿Qué significa to hang out? Colgar. Okay, so it, it, it could be used. <laughs> if you're saying, you. I'm going to go hang out yeah. with my friends. ¿Qué significa eso? You go and spend, spend the time. time. I'm going to go spam with some time. Okay, all right. So now with this one, it, it almost has the same format, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to change hangout. And we're going to put the emphasis either in the front or in the back, right? Hey, uh, let's say I'm talking to one of my friends. Hey, hey, Angel, let's hang out this weekend. Yeah? Entonces, comienzo bajo. Alto, this we end. Let's hang out this weekend. Hey, Angel, let's hang out this weekend, yeah? And then, you know, you can either say yes or no, no puedo. El teacher me regaña. All right. So now, in this particular case, this is a suggestion. I'm telling Angel, let's hang out this weekend, right? So it's very specific. So now, let's change it up a little bit. Hey, in college, Pizza Hut was our favorite hangout. Ya es un poco diferente. O en el caso de esta frase, in college, that was our favorite hangout. En una es, let's do something, let's hang out. Y en el otro, estamos hablando de un lugar específico, como por ejemplo, Pizza Hut, Wendy's, ¿verdad? Hey, that's my favorite hangout. Let's hang out. Tengan cuidado como lo van a ocupar. Hang out y hang out. Un poquito más de velocidad, un poquito más cercano. Y el volumen en el comienzo. Hang out. All right. Hasta este punto, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos? Yo tengo una pregunta. Sí, sí. A ver. Entonces, eh, se podría interpretar como quedar también. Como quedar, si tú estás diciendo el, el cual, el hangout. Ajá. Es que el, el hangout, si se, yo creo que la mejor palabra para ocupar o palabras serían, hay que reunirnos. Eh, 
¿qué tal si lo reunimos? Bueno, en español sería, ¿qué tal si lo reunimos? Let's hang out this weekend. ¿Qué tal si lo reunimos, si nos reunimos este fin de semana? Ese sería para hang out. Ahora, el hang out sería el lugar en sí a donde, a, donde, a donde llegamos. ¿Tenían ustedes algún lugar a donde iban todos los días o todos los fines de semana? Con sus amigos o amigas. The park. Y, puede, y puede, ser, puede ser chupadero, no se preocupen. No, 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 no. Eh, el, el Willis. Church. Ok, ok. Ok. Si tú vas, if you go to church every single weekend, every Sunday, y allí es donde llegas con tus compañeros, con tus amigos, y ese es el lugar a donde ustedes llegan más seguido, then that is your hangout. So you can say that the church is your hangout. El punto de reunión, si se puede decir de esa manera, is the church. So hangout es el punto de reunión. Y to hang out es la acción que yo te estoy diciendo, hay que reunirnos. ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Yeah, but yes. All right. Remember... Sería... Perdón, perdón. A ver. Sorry. Sería, sería, es como... Es la acción que vas a salir a, a vacilar, ¿no? El, el hanging out, sí. Hang out es... El hang out, ahí tenés que decirle tú a alguien, vamos, vamos, to por ejemplo, a la iglesia. Pizza. Let's to hang out, out at the pizza, pizza. yeah. There we go, you can, you can use it that way, yes. Let's hang out at the pizza. It's a specific... The... To, a pl to a place... And, oh, and, it, yeah. see, and it has to do with a meeting. So it has to do with people getting, getting there and, and showing up uh, frequently. Okay. okay. Uh, ¿Ibas a decir okay. algo, compañero? Alex? No? Um, Everybody good? Yeah, we're good. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Okay, entonces pasamos. Pasamos a nuestras prácticas. A ver, phrasal verbs, aquí están. Y miren que hay varias. Woohoo! Phrasal yeah. verbs. Let's go and do this. Uh, remember that we're talking about phrasal verbs, two word compounds, it could be idioms, right? To break down. Yeah. What, is, what does it mean to break down? Or something is damaged, right? It's not okay. working anymore. Okay, all right. So here we go. If you guys look at the pictures and you guys take a look at what's going on in the pictures, you guys are going to get the picture, you're going to get a number, and you get the phrasal verb. Phrasal verb. And then you get to explain it. All right. All right. So, let's do the first one. Let's do the first one. Let me see. A ver. No. What is this guy doing? What can you guys tell me about that picture? What is that guy doing? He's laughing. Okay, he's laughing. All right. Would you say that he's laughing at something? Yes. Yeah. Laugh would you up. say would you say that he is let me see because you got to look at the words that are here so we have break down throw away break up pay for look after laugh at agree with look for hold on go out with look at give up run out come around let down forget about And so the one that fits with laughing, tendría que ser número seis. So yes. let me put oh. number six here, okay. laugh at. So he's laughing at something, right? right? Okay. Y así es como lo vamos a hacer, miren. You guys look at the picture, you guys look at the words, and then you tell me what phrasal verb fits the description. A ver, vamos con las compañeras que están en el sofá. 
a ver, ¿qué se ve que están haciendo? Como que están chambeando, ¿verdad? pero no, 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 maybe it's just a harmless conversation. What do you guys think and what words can we use? What phrasal verb can we do? The number seven, agree with. Number seven, agree with. It looks, well, you know what? It looks like it. Is there any other word that you might think? No, no. All right. Let's do with agree with. All right. So we got number seven. Okay. Let's look at the next word. There's a dog. There's a person. What are they doing? They're looking. They're looking. Something. They're looking for. So they might look for. Look for. No. Look at. Look after. No. No. Look for. Break down. Throw away. Break, break up. Which one? I don't know. I'm I'm going with I'm I'm learning. I'm I'm leaning towards number eight. Look for like somebody somebody already mentioned, but I don't know. Does it look like they're doing something else? I don't or see. Buscar. No. Buscar. What do you guys think? Number eight. Look for. Es que el perro lo atacó yes. básicamente. <laughs> <laughs> Sí, porque le, le, le arrancó el pantalón, ¿verdad? Uh, he has run out? No. He Give ran up. out. Come around, let down, forget. ¿Cuál dijo? Run out. Run out. No, porque oh, then yeah. he, would, he would be no. running. Look at. It looks like they're looking for something. They're looking at something. Yo estoy entre la 8 y la 11. Oh. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Look, look for or look at. To me, look for. Look, look at. for. Look at. A ver, yo escuché varios look at. Vamos a, vamos, let's put look at. A ver qué pasa. Ahora, keep in mind que también teníamos como look for. Así es que si sale mal... More than likely it was look for. Y compañero, usted tenía la razón. <laughs> a ver, a ver. Sacó una F. Sacó un cero. ¿Qué pasó? What do you guys think here? He let me down. Let somebody down. Let okay. Down. You let down somebody. Okay. That fits. Okay. A ver, esta señora, ¿qué va haciendo? Sí va, creo que es una señora. <laughs> What does it look like she's doing? Before Maybe something. forget something. Forgot something because forget she's holding. It about. She forgot about. It looks like she's holding her head, verdad? Oh my God, I forgot. Okay, let's try that one. Sixteen. Okay. Next, corazoncito quebrado. Break up. Break up. Break well, down. Down. Break down. Is it is it break up or break down? Break up. Break up. He just he just had a breakup. Okay, let's put a three there. Vamos. Este señor que está tirando la basurita. Give up. Give up. Okay. Alguna otra? Throw away. There's a throw away. Mm. You know what? Throw away mm. looks more. Throw away. A ver, throw away sounds a little bit more. Okay, let's let's try to throw away. A ver, siguiente compañero va caminando, se da la vuelta. Dio la vuelta y volteó. He come around. He come around. Oh, you know what? That one, that one makes sense. A ver, let's put come around. I don't agree. And agree? Agree with? No, no. Estoy de acuerdo con la respuesta del compañero. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I agree, I agree with that. Okay. All right, next one, next one. A ver, igual que el teacher, miren. Sin billete. Break down. Break down. Giving up. Give up. Run, up. Like, run mm -hmm. out. Run out of money. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe run out run of money. Out. Yeah. That makes sense, you know. Wow. Okay, let's try that. 13. 
Oh, my goodness. Igual que el teacher. Todos los bichitos. A ver. <laughs> what do you guys think here? ¿Qué está haciendo él? Él es el papá. Le han dejado a los bichitos encargados. Los niños, los chimpayatíos. Is he paying for? Is he looking He's after? Oh, somebody said look after. So Could it be? Look after. It, it, he's looking after the kids? Yeah. You know what? We can oh. try that. Looking after. Oh, la parejita. A ver, ¿qué dice la parejita? What do you guys think? <laughs> ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Qué está pasando ahí? It looks like a date. Mm -hmm. I don't know this one. How about how about number ten? Go out with. Oh yeah, go out. You guys with. think? I was, I was thinking of that. Yeah. Yes. Al, I, alguien mm -hmm. más? Maybe yeah. something else. The number ten. Number ten. Go out with. You know what? Let's try it. If it's wrong, I'll take responsibility for it. <laughs> oh yes. ¿Qué está pasando? They're shaking hands. Y aquí. They are agree. They agree with. Pero la siete creo que ya la habíamos ocupado. Yes. Really? La habíamos ocupado con el green sofa. So that means... We can share it. That means mm -hmm. that one of these is wrong. What do you guys think? Which one do you guys think fits number seven more? Poopy. The shaking hands looks like it's more of a, you know, I agree. Let's shake hands. And the sofa ladies, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Let's leave it like that. Let's see what happens. You know, hey, you know, hey, <laughs> yeah, we're still going to get a 10 out of this. Oh, my goodness. The towing truck. Broken stuff, towing truck. What did we say Breakdown. was this one? Breakdown. All right, pick Come number on. one here. Y este señor que está haciendo con el teléfono. What is he doing? Hold on. Hold on? Hold on. Hold on, you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't see anything else. Let's try, let's yeah. try. Number yeah. nine. Hold on, holding on, <laughs> holding on to the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. Somebody put them on hold. There's like a little spider. <laughs> okay, las ultimo, ultimo dos. Get up. What is this? Give up. Give up. Give up? Oh, yeah. he's surrendering. Yeah, number 12 is a little white flag. Okay. Y la, y la última, el teacher. Well, pay, for. Pay, pay for. Pay for. All right, let me see which one is that one. Is that number four? All right. So, break the words. Follow with me and say the words with me. Break down. Break Throw down. Throw away. Throw away. Throw, Throw away. away. Break, break up. Break, break up. up. Pay for. Look after. Look after. Laugh at. Look after. Laugh at. Laugh at. Laugh at. Agree, Laugh with. At. Agree, Agree with. Agree with. Look for. Look, Look for. for. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go out with. Go, Go out, out with. with. Go out. Look at. Look, Look, Look at. at. Give up. Give, give up. up. Give up. Run out. Run, Run out. Come around. Come, Come around. around. Ahora, se escucha una A, pero no hay A aquí. So, ojo con eso. Run. Come around. Right? Let down. Let down. Let down. And forget about. Forget, forget about. about. Forget about it. La gente lo dice bien rápido. Forget about, Forget about it. it. Y aquí vamos. Finish. Como Forget vemos, about. cerrando los ojos. Cerrando los ojos. ¿Cómo no fue? 
¡Oh, my God! Bueno, las señoras, ya sabíamos que las señoras del sofá. Sí. El maestro que Ay, estaba no. viendo, no sabemos qué es esa. Está. Y este, y este ca el 14. Oh, my goodness. And then everything else is okay. Everything else is great. Well, well done. You guys did a great job. All right, ladies and gentlemen. For tomorrow, we're going to continue with these. And we're also going to practice on, you know, saying it and pronouncing it. And then we're going to move to the second Ay. portion of what we were covering. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so uh, much for joining today. Les regreso. Actually, two minutes. No se preocupen. Les voy a pagar OT. No se preocupen. Eh, pasen muy buenas noches. Los veo mañana. Have a good night. Sí. Good night. Bye, teacher. And remember Bye, to come teacher. around. Come around. Tomorrow. Come around tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to... Tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go to Pizza Hut. <laughs> Shut up.